New year, new bike. I'm delighted to share with you my brand new long-term road bike, the J Laverick Jack. Now, this looks like the perfect four season winter road bike. So a good time of year for riding such a bike because we have a tough yet smooth titanium frame. We have wide tuber tires, the loads of traction and low risk of punctures. We have disc brakes for maximum control in all conditions. And then on this bike, we even have dynamo lights front and rear. So lights all the time with no battery to charge. But I think there's one thing missing on this bike which you might have spotted. Yes, that's right, no mud guards. But this is your chance to have your say on the future of this bike. Should I fit mud guards, yes or no? And if you do think I need mud guards on this bike, which mud guards do you personally recommend? I'd love to hear what mud guards you do use on a regular basis. So let me know by leaving a comment down below. And the next update in the video, well, we might have mud guards, we might not. Depends on the strength of comments down below. Okay, with the intro out of the way, let's take a closer look at this brand new bike. Before we dive into today's video, a quick word from the sponsor, Pedalshaw. Now, ensuring a bike like this is really important. And Pedalshaw make it really easy, quick, and affordable to ensure a bike like this against theft or accidental damage. And right now, there's even a chance to get a free hip lock. So head to the website, link down below, and get yourself an instant quote and get your bike covered. Right, on with the video. So Jay Laverick is a British bike company, in case you're not familiar with them, who launched with the original Jack way back in 2015. I was actually at Row CC at the time when they launched and Ollie, the founder of the company, came down and showed me the bike and I had a very short ride on that bike, but definitely impressed. Now it's worth casting your mind back if you can or you were around riding bikes back in 2015 and the idea of a bike like this was fairly new. We had touring bikes, but not bikes with wire tires. And the advances of disc brakes really gave rise to bikes like this and other British bike brands like Mason and Fairlight and Genesis as well. It really sees the opportunity to deliver a bike that's perfectly suited to year round riding here in the UK. But what the Jack also offered as well being practical and versatile was a very sporty ride. And here we're at Mudguards, you can happily ride this bike in a Sportive or Grand Fondo and then you can fit mud guards, some bags, and go touring, audaxing, or overnight riding, bike packing, whatever you want to call it. Before I share some of the details of this bike with you, it's worth mentioning that J Laverick is a company that offer bespoke customized frames. Anything is possible. They do offer a off the shelf service, but most customers buying a bike like this will customize it to the way they ride their bikes from the bike fit, which they can do at their HQ up in Rutland, to all the fittings you have on the bike and the way it looks as well. And this is a good example of how you might have yours, but their website lists loads of options, definitely worth a look at to see how much you can customize a bike like this. The frame is made from the industry favorite three stroke 2.5 grade of titanium, while tougher 6.4 titanium is used for the head tube, the bottom bracket and the rear dropouts. And there are some lovely details on a frame that carry over from that original launch back in 2015. But there are quite a few updates launched over the last few years that really show you how they refined and evolved the frame while keeping the essence of that original intact. And some of my favorite details on this bike are the streamlined head tube with really nice internal cable routing. We have a lovely flattened and curved top tube, which looks absolutely sensational. Really nice curved rear stays, chain stays and seat stays give maximum tire and heel clearance. Really nice flat mount dropouts on the rear as well. We have the own carbon fiber fork with internal routing for the brake and a dynamo. And being a British design bike, we have some British features like the external seat clamp, which I do approve of, and the external bottom bracket. And while I'm not really one of mottos on bikes, the freedom to explore engraving on the bottom bracket shell definitely gets a thumbs up from me. And then there's a the finish of the frame, which you can probably tell is a little bit different to a normal look of titanium. Titanium has a very particular polished look, which looks fantastic, but this is a parve finish. So a bit darker, a bit stealthier, and I think it looks really good. And we do have polished logos on the down tube and the seat tube. So a really understated appearance while keeping that essence of titanium cool. 
The jack range starts at £2,775 for a frame and fork, while complete bills start from £4,145. This model though, with the Durace Di2 group set and a few extras, will set you back £9,000. Definitely a very bling top dollar bike. This bike is sporting the company's own carbon fiber wheels in a 36 mil deep, knife wide profile, tubeless compatible, and we have a Chris King rear hub and the Dynamo front hub for the Dynamo lights for obvious reasons. So a nice wheel set, and we have some Conti GP5000 TL tubeless tires in a 32 mil width. So nice wide rubbers, and there's still loads of clearance between the rubber and the frame and space for mud guards. If I fit them, that's all down to you. One of my favorite features of this bike after riding it for the last few weeks is the fact that it has Dynamo lights. I think Dynamo lights are brilliant because there's no batteries to worry about. You get on your bike and the lights are on front and rear. And the rear lights, as you can see, is internally rooted within the carbon fiber seat post with a carbon reinforced around the hole to make sure it's structurally sound. You can fit that rear light down by the rear stay if you're fitting a seat pack or a tail fin. So there are options. This is just one example of how you could have it. So that is a super quick run through of my brand new long-term road bike, the very lovely J Laverick Jack, and some of the details that really stand out. If you have any questions at all, put them down below and don't forget to let me know about mug guards, yes or no, and if yes, which one do you recommend? Now, personally, I hope you do recommend mud guards because the roads at the moment are filthy muddy and I finish every ride on the bike looking like I've been mountain biking. So mud guards would be nice, but you have the power, you have the say. So in my next video, I'll reveal the mud guards, if I have mud guards on the bike, and I'll give you some idea of what the bike is like to ride. I haven't ridden it for a few weeks now. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see that by hitting the red button down below. And if you want to see some more bike reviews, then check on this video up here. But that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all again next time.